Not so fast. What's going on, everyone? It's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Bayonetta for Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with our walk through the game, so thank you guys so much for watching. Today's episode is going to be a great one because we got even more story to learn about. And, of course, we are going to change outfits. Now, I'm super excited. We've got, uh, what is it, episode 7, chapter 6? And a lot of you guys have been asking for some more costume changes, so I like doing a couple episodes uh, with a certain costume. We showed off a little bit of Samus. Now, by all means, there's a lot more to Samus than I gave you guys in the last two episodes. Uh, so, go check it out a little bit later. But here we go. The wardrobe of the Princess of Sarasaland, with a few uh, slight alterations, grants you use your ability to summon a certain spiky shelled king through a wicked weave. So we're gonna go Daisy this time around. And Daisy has the Luigi, like a little Luigi on her. That's really interesting. Okay, so I'm, I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are excited for the episode too, so let's do it. Uh, yeah, I think we're set. We're ready to go. Let's, let's jump in. Let's see what's happening. So, yeah, we got the Durga on the previous episode, which is quite interesting. Uh, I've played a little bit with it off screen. And it seems like a more powered up kick, if anything. Uh, or punch, whatever you want to do. Because it goes, uh, you can either put it on the kick, on the feet. Or, of course, you can um, just straight up put it on your claws. Uh, or your, your hands there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a combo of the sword and the Durga for the feet. And then if we wanted just the Durga for the hands, we can easily switch. So you can see over here that uh, you can use a sword and then the Durga kicks. And then if you hold the Durga kick, it makes like a little demon bomb. Kind of interesting. I don't know. Uh, and then if we want to switch, you can put Durgas right up top and then just claw through everything. And just demon bomb all that stuff as well. So there's a lot that can happen here, so let, let's move it. It looks like we're in some sort of, uh, facility here. Uh, I'm honestly not too sure what is, uh, happening. But we're here. And we're gonna probably make our way through. Okay, entering the grid. We got another one of those things. If we wanted to, we can just shoot up all these little pots here, because you never know. Oh, that guy's afraid. He's, he heard some bullets. And of course we got coins too, so that's exactly what we need. What's this over here? Oh great, yeah we need that. Oh sweet, a piece of an LP, excellent. Okay, I think we're set. I think we got some butterflies here. I see some coins on the other side over there. We can easily just swipe through this door. And then move on. Who bring it! Who wants some? You? Torture attack. Get off me. Boom. Instant half health off. Oh, I clearly dodged that, but that's fine. That I did not dodge. I'll, I'll take that. Come on, Daisy. Wow. Boom! Get it with a big... <laughs> was it Su Tetsuzaku? Tetsuzaki? Whatever. It's awesome looking, that's what it is, like you... Anyway, kind of fun. I didn't do that too optimally, but uh, we got a silver medal, if anything. Alright, so here we go. We are going to be running through all these little switches here, like a Nintendo Switch, but we got to do it in right order, so... Actually, hold on, let me go pick up this, because this is going to be very helpful. Whenever there is uh, angel arms in the ground, you definitely want to use them. All right, so here we go. Line it up, turn it to a beast, and hit all three, and we are ready to go. That was pretty easy to figure out. It's like they just gave us the beast power in the previous episode. Of course, we're gonna be using it in this one. All right, so here we are. We see the little girl. Now, we've seen the little girl in a couple chapters ago. Not really sure what's going on with her. Please don't spoil it if you know. Obviously, the game is old, so you guys are understanding of what this game's all about. But just don't. I have no clue, and I, I want to be surprised. So anyway, here we go. We got these stupid dragons again. I don't like them at all. So I'm just gonna focus on shooting them, and if I shoot them, then maybe they'll get stunned. 
There we go. Oh, and one gets me from behind. What a fool. This slow sword, this angel arm sword is just so good. Oh, I'm gonna go get my coins first. Blue coins, man, from Super Mario Sunshine. Straight from Sunshine. Where is he? Oh, he's way up top. That's fine. I'll shoot him. Bullets. Counter! Oh, I almost had it! Dang! Nice. Oh, yeah, you want some? Come here. Oh, I can't touch him. You know, I'll just shoot him from afar. I don't care. You're done. And we're just gonna feed him to our bird. <laughs> because that's what we do. We summon a gigantic bird with our hair nonetheless. And it has like over, what, eight eyes? Maybe nine eyes? Big bites, big bites. Oh yeah, 500, nice. Eat it, dude. Just gobble it down. Okay, thanks. Easy breezy, and of course whenever you see these two statues, it's a little puzzle that we have to do, and you can obviously see that we're going to use them to um, cross this water section here. Pretty simple, right? Lift it up, slam it down, dodge it out of the way, and then just make it through this water, which looks really awesome by the way, like truly the developers. Oh, come on, get up there. No? No, it's not, it's not going to happen. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, easy there, Jaguar. And it's Bowser. Cool. Panther punt, what? Boom, kick him at the other one. <laughs> I think that's what that said. All right, little girl, come back. We're gonna save you. You think you spikes can get me? Oh man, never mind. All right, so we're gonna grab this lever. And that should disengage the spikes. And there's only one Elfheim in this level, and we're gonna go back and get it after we're done with these moves. That's right, Bowser, get him! And Bowser's big, fiery punch, too, is great. And torture attack him. Down here? Oh, you! <laughs> uh. Oh, I found out that you could taunt too. Like you can hold the L L button and taunt. You can do a quick taunt, and you could do a like a long taunt. And I guess that enrages the angels. Okay, so remember, uh, I told you there's only one Alfheim in this level? It's right over here. I'm gonna show you exactly where they're at. Will I be able to do this? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what this Alfheim is. This is use torture attacks to feed all the angels before time expires while executing them on torture attacks. Great. Okay, so that means that we gotta build up our meter without getting hit three times. There's one, dude. I hate the blue guy. These moves are just so hard. It's so hard to counter. It just comes out so fast. And look at that. I'm just done in two seconds. No way. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, don't be discouraged if you can't beat these Alfheim challenges. You can
can always come back to him when your Bayonetta is super powerful. Frame right there. Oh! I could dodge that punch pretty easily. I won't even get one torture attack, dude. Finally. Stun. It's one down. What in the world? I don't really know. I don't really know those manta ray attack patterns. I haven't played them, played against them for some time. So anyway, uh, let's get, let's continue and let's see what's going on. I don't know, guys. I'm not gonna be there all day trying to figure it out. But hey. up, smash it down, let me dodge. Oh, I gotta do this whole uh, three switch thing again. One, two, three, and we are through. Okay, no, it's on the topic of magic, so on and so forth. Ooh, this is statue. No, not these guys. Great. All of my health is gone. Oh, wow, what a punk. I'm trying to go for the blue one. Really? Just KO me? Just take me out, man. That's tough. Fighting those two clowns? It's like Tweedledee, man. Well, at least I have this stick, and maybe I should just use that instead. Press the A button with, um... With that, and just go for that. After I do this. No, I don't. Oh, forget it, man! How much damage is that really doing to them? That's somewhat. Half health, instantaneously gone. He's out. You got more friends? Well, at least I'm beating him. Oh, wow! At least I'm beating him with his own claws. Wow, I'm done! Oh my gosh, get me this red one! I'm out of here. I got this? That's really ridiculous. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep on trying. That worked out way better than it did before.
Ooh. Thanks, Bowser. Oh, big electric hit, this guy. Got him. Ah, that's rough, man. It's truly rough. Give me your arm thing, and I'm out of here, dude. Done. Oh my goodness. Well, those guys are annoying. I just I don't have the experience with them yet. So <laughs> I'm sure by the end of the game we're like, oh yeah, these guys. Yeah, we got you. about to take care of that one. Oh man. All right, so we almost have a torture attack. There you go, Princess Daisy. I'll take these angel arms, thank you. It's too good. Like this thing? It's like a sword and like a bow and arrow too. That guy's all the way over there. That's cheap. All right. Whoa, is he gonna? Oh, nice, nice teleportation, dude. Oh, I was gonna charge him up. Nice, just gone. All right, let's make this jump. Yeah, yeah, nice. Way to go, dude. I took way too much damage there. But hey, you know what? It's fine. What are you boys doing in here? Hiding something from me. Come on. to regret this. Yes, here we go. What? Get this guy, kick him in. Boom! I love the punch kick punch combo, it's good.
Get him. All of them. All of them! No, that guy was just like standing there. No big ones? Ooh, he actually hit me. I'm like, why are things pausing right now? It doesn't make sense. I was gonna say, where are the big ones at? Let's get them right in the coffin. You're all set. I'll take that weapon, thank you. Take all your coins, explode them. And we're good. A mother's love. That's an achievement there. That was pretty cool. Was I just singing? Mummy! Mummy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother. But, Mummy. Will you quit calling me Mummy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's two things I hate in this world. It's cockroaches and crying babies. Well, a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible. So don't you dare cry. Then don't you dare cry. Fine. You've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this. What's your name, anyway? Ceresa. You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. Well, now, I'll hazard a guess. I'm from my house? So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. <laughs> I'll just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mummy. Oh. Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to promise there'll be no crying. That's funny. A single tear and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mommy. Oh. I love that. I love Bayonetta's, like, body language with that. I thought that was really spectacular. Like, he's just like, ugh. That's so good. Anyway. Mommy! Let's do this. Alright. So we got that. Cool. Wait, what? This is a light pole. Hey, you leave the little girl alone. For, lest I hit you with a light pole. Boom. Who else wants some? You guys? Boom. 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 Got him. Let me out of here. This thing. I guess I'm just lifting up trash cans and lobbing them at them. While little girl runs away. Way to go, Bowser. Who would have thought that Bowser would be helping out Princess Daisy here? Is that what we're doing? Little girl. Hey! You leave her alone. Trash cans, let's go. Oh, dude, what? Ow! Oh, got punched! Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Come on, little one, get out of there. Ugh. 
That's rough. Hey, I'll take that. That's a full meter. Benches, dude! The real enemies in this game are benches. I'm just gonna shoot everything on screen. Okay, some more of those butterflies, which also helps out. I mean, I personally don't have as much of the meter as I want, but we have a free torture attack right now, which is great. Okay, Purgatorio. That's, um, I don't know, something. I guess we can go buy some stuff. I don't mind dying, doesn't matter. We're not here playing for score anyway. Let me beat up these benches first. I guess we don't need that. We should have, like, saved them. That's what we should do. What is this? Uh, heavy lithograph here depicts the seal of the sun. Okay. What's this? Entirely different dimension on the other side of the gate is a fantastic environment brewing with life. Okay. Interesting. We are totally going to just waste this right now. I don't even care. Where's my witch time at? Thank you. There we go, got a second torture attack on the other one. One for each, boom, kick him out of here. It's okay. Wow, not bad, not bad. I should have uh, hit the, oh, okay, hold on, I'm probably gonna beat that guy up, right? There's no benches around here. Nothing to shoot open for butterflies. Oh, uh oh. Light pole. Oh, what? Come on, that's cheap. A meteor out of nowhere? Don't tell me I gotta do the whole thing again. <laughs> that's as bad as a quick time event. I can't believe that. Oh, come on now. I did that without losing any health. I just need my uh, butterflies first. No. There we go. As long as I get a full uh, a full meter, I'll be set. So let's go. That's ridiculous. But I should have done better, right? I should have done better not to get as much damage going into the battle.
Ooh, big hit. Now we're in this domain with the dog. Oh, with the dog and the stupid meteors. Baby, double baby head over here. What is this? Was conveniently underground right there. Big chunk of hell. There we go, Tetsuzako. Tetsuzaki? No, I don't remember. I gotta look at it and see what it's called. Come on, we're gonna eat that baby. Go! <laughs> Not even. Not even close. Big baby like the little baby, what do you expect? Hey, gold medal, I'll take it. We did take a little bit of damage. What? Ooh, what in the world? Laser beams! Ow! Remind me of Resident Evil here. Ouch! Yow! Man, forget it! Just go! Stuff. I need stuff like healing. You got anything? Anyone? And who- why is there two bayonettas? Dance competition? What is this? Oh, that's cheap, man! Oh, whipping me! No 
better than to do that. Slicer. Ooh, slice me! Done. Come on. That was it? I'll fight those all day. You got more? <laughs> she wasn't blocking, so that was easy, like, you could easily spam all those attacks. So. That's pretty great. We got another CD, another LP, and another thing here. So, this is the gold LP. We got another thing about angels and stuff. We can easily take this. Oh, for a sweetheart. Give me that. Okay. Do I have not four? I do not have four. Anything else I need to be aware of? No, I think we're good. Let's jump in. From the other side. And let's continue, shall we? V-Grid Air Force Base. Shoot everything. Horses. A statue holds moon-shaped object. It shows the true majesty of the Umbra with its fierce uh, appearance. Okay? So like Pokemon Sun and Moon over here. Gotcha. And that's a baby. And then we got another one of those. Okay. Uh, Prominence Bridge. We're good. Oh, this guy. Mommy! Mommy? You're a mom? You? Come now, Cheshire. Look at me. Do I look like I have any interest in children? Now making them? Well, that's another story. <laughs> Whoa! You're getting the wrong idea. I mean, it might be the right idea, but not right now, right? Right? Yeah, uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you, because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust in their gated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Oh, yes. The island. Lovely place, isn't it? Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? You're a sad, sick woman, you know that? I was her age when you killed my father. Wait. No. You couldn't. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You killed her parents! Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished. And you never know when a monster may sneak up. Mommy, look out! Yeah, how can she see her? Oh, that's it? Okay. I'll take a 40 minute episode, let's go! <laughs> we did die a lot, and of course we're gonna get a stone award. I don't foresee us getting uh, anything better than that in the future. But hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're having fun, we're going through this story, we're learning a little bit about what this game's all about. Let's call it, man. Let's call it. Give him that big angel attack. Alright, fine, I'll play for a little bit. I got a lot of shots here, so I might as well shoot him. Uh, big shot, nope. Where's the weird looking thing? Nope. There we 
go. There's one. There's one. That's a double. I don't know what a double kill is, nor do I know what that thing is. That's the thing I'm trying to shoot. Oh, come on. Cheap shot. Sensitivity. Full gogi. Got him from downtown. That was pretty good. Nope. 55 points? Look at me! Oh! <laughs> uh, what, what can I get for 55 points? A lollipop? Ooh, I could have got like a, yeah, mega green herb lollipop. That's pretty good. Uh, red hot shot. Ooh, wow, that's actually really good. That's, um, it's like an auto revive. I guess I'll go mega green. Alright, so I got two of them in my inventory. Should I have used them in the episode? I'm sure I should have. But regardless, we're not going for pure platinum scores here. So, anyway. So something's going on with like a green area, a little in tornado over there. Cardinal of Virtue of Cardinal Virtue of Temperance. Alright, alright. So we're gonna do one more episode with Daisy. If you guys want to see a regular Bayonetta costume, let me know. If not, I'm dying to get back into Link costume because we now have a sword. And it's like the Master Sword. I think that's going to be just so epic. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure that you guys smash the like button if you enjoyed it and want to see more. Depending on how you guys do on support and if you guys like these videos, we're going to go through Bayonetta 2. So, it's up to you guys. Watch the playlist over here. Newest video on the channel that way. Uh, recommendations there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Nintendo Switch and Bayonetta content. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you enjoyed most about the episode. And of course, if you have any tips and tricks for us, we're always looking at those. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.